What's good, y'all? It's Ante here with another video. Today, I'm gonna be going in depth a little bit about how I go about manipulating different samples and sounds, third party sounds that you get from like sound packs and stuff like that. Being able to tweak them, manipulate them uh, to fit whatever your creative needs are in a moment inside of FL Studio. So, that goes for taking loops and being able to change the pitch and the tempo of them to match the tempo of the project and then be able to change it without it changing the structure uh, of the sample itself. And it goes for like taking uh, one shot sounds, for example, and being able to turn them into to like polyphonic sense and keyboards being able to play them like a keyboard so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it so we inside fl studio more of the story uh i got a sample pool right here of something that i actually made so I'm, I'm sampling my own sample right now basically so you found a sample cool we got this la special 112 notice i got it labeled with the tempo which most samples will some of them won't notice it says 112 you want to go up here and go ahead and make the tempo of the project the same tempo as the sample temporarily now you may want to change uh let's say i want to change this tempo to some some else i want to change it make it sound different go ahead and make the tempo of the project the same tempo as the sample temporarily once you do that it should line up how it's supposed to sometimes you'll have samples like this one that's got a little layover on the end of it that's cool that's why i got this these first eight bars looped right now because we're only focusing on eight bars and we're just gonna keep looping it right cool find a sample it's right here cool no that's not it um it just in case you didn't know um any audio that you drag in usually if it says unsorted it won't show up here so go to audio and then you'll find it boom go here what you want to do is you want to go to mode you want to change from mode uh resample to stretch once you do that, that locks it in, and when you change the tempo of the project, it doesn't change. This stays with the tempo of the project. So if I change it to 110, it's going to be 110 BPM. If I change it to 100, it's going to be 100 BPM. And you can notice that because typically, if it's set to resample and you change the tempo, this right here short, sort of stretches on its own. But if it stays still like this, then you're good. Let's say I want to do it at 100 BPM. We'll stick with that. Cool. That's what it sounds like. That's what it was set to at first. 112. That was set to 112. I changed it, knock it down. I think 100 is too slow. It's about 105. You hear the metronome? Metronome matches up, so we good. Now let's say I want to go in and change the pitch of it. When you have it set to stretch, changing the pitch also makes it seamless. Uh, otherwise, like I said, if you were, if you got it set to resample, and even if you change the pitch, it's gonna change the tempo of the sample. So if you got it in stretch, stretch literally stretches it when you change the tempo to fit and stay synced up with whatever the tempo is. No matter the change of pitch, no matter what. So let's say, cool, I like the pitch that it was in orig originally, but I want to change it to, I want to make it go up. About right there. So notice I changed the pitch of the sample and the, it still stayed the same. It still it didn't change the tempo at all. It still matched up at 105. And that's literally how you can make any sample, any third-party sample, loop, anything like that. Um, you can manipulate it, change the pitch and tempo, and allow it to sync up with the tempo change of the project itself. All right, cool. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into uh, the second half of the video, which will be focusing on individual one-shot sounds. So let's say this, I got this digital pluck sound that I made, kind of like a uh, ARP synth kind of sound. Most of the time when you import a sound as a one shot in here, it's usually, let me see. Yeah, so mine's set like that. So right now I can only play one note at a time. And let's say I want to play this like seamlessly as, I, as if I'm playing a keyboard and, you know, play multiple notes at a time and be able to like, you know, play a, a polyphonic synth, uh, being able to play multiple notes at one time. So uh, first thing you want to do is right click, make sure cut itself is turned off. 
that allows you to be able to start playing multiple notes at one time. The next thing you want to do is I will go here and change the one shot sound to stretch as well. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and let you hear the difference because if you don't have it set to stretch, um, if I play a middle C right here and I play it two octaves down, it's going the sound is gonna be longer. So you want to change it to stretch, and then now. I can play multiple notes at one time you can kind of see so that's pretty much it on it simply put if you want to be able to change the envelope settings of it which is uh you know a little bit more in depth uh, I always like to take the attack right here the attack uh, is the start of the note so bring that back all the way if you want to take a little bit of attack off of it you can push it forward you start to hear the difference the beginning of it starts to disappear a little bit so I always like to take my attack all the way back as if I'm playing like, you know, a uh, keyboard. You can also change the release if you want. Make it shorter. Make it to where you can be able to uh, control the release as if you were playing on a, you know, keyboard piano. So pretty much uh, straightforward, simply put, that's how you manipulate samples and one shots and being able to change them to fit your own creative needs. And I appreciate y'all. If y'all can go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, if it, there was some in the video that I can go more in depth into, I definitely wouldn't mind making a video about this. So just comment it uh, down below the video. And I appreciate the love. All right, y'all take it easy.